Welcome to the Fox Learn. WCF is a software development kit for developing and deploying services on Windows. WCF is a unified programming model for building service-oriented applications. WCF is much more it is literally a better .NET. WCF provides a runtime environment for your services, enabling you to expose common language runtime CLR, types as services and to consume other services as CLR types. Although in theory you could build services without WCF, in practice, building services is significantly easier with WCF. WCF is Microsoft's implementation of a set of industry standards defining service interactions, type conversions, marshalling, and the management of various protocols. Consequently, WCF provides interoperability between services. WCF provides developers with the essential off-the-shelf plumbing required by almost all applications and, as such, it greatly increases productivity. The first release of WCF, as part of .NET 3.0, provided many useful facilities for developing services, such as hosting, service instance management, asynchronous calls, reliability, transaction management, disconnected queued calls, and security. The second release of WCF, as part of .NET 3.5, provided additional tools and extended the original offering with additional communication options. The third release, as part of .NET 4.0, includes configuration changes, a few extensions. Below figures shows the different technology combined to form WCF. Advantage WCF is interoperable with other services when compared to .NET remoting, where the client and service have to be .NET. WCF services provide better reliability and security in compared to ASMX web services. In WCF, there is no need to make much change in code for implementing the security model and changing the binding. Small changes in the configuration will make your requirements. WCF has integrated logging mechanism, changing the configuration file settings will provide this functionality. In other technology developer has to write the code. Disadvantage Making right design for your requirement is little bit difficult. Consider the following scenario. You are building a product management system. Basic product information such as product name, description, and price, is stored in a SQL Server database. You have built a front-end application to work with that data. The distribution center, which is in the building next door, manages inventory. They have a server that hosts the inventory database and a server that hosts the inventory component you wrote to manage inventory. What technology will you use to talk to the inventory component from your front-end application? They are on the same network, so you might choose to use .NET Remoting. It is now a year later. Your company acquires another company and decides to merge the two distribution centers. The distribution center is now halfway across the country. Your first thought is to continue to use .NET Remoting and simply move the component to a different server.
however, you learn that you also need to make the inventory component available to a variety of partners, not all of whom are using .NET applications. That rules out .NET remoting. You could use .NET remoting for internal clients and web services for external clients. You could stop using .NET remoting and use only web services. One of the primary motivations behind Windows Communication Foundation is to provide a single model for building distributed applications. If you built the inventory component as a WCF service, your front end could communicate using HTTP. The application in this scenario is connected. The leading approach to building connected applications is service orientation. No doubt, you have heard of service-oriented architecture, SOA, but what is a service-oriented application? A service is a program that performs a task and that a client application can communicate with through well-defined messages. To call a web or WCF service, the client passes it a message, which consists of XML. The message will typically include a request for the service to perform an action, such as retrieve or update the inventory information for a product. If the service returns data to the client, it passes back a message, also consisting of XML. The client and the service need to agree on what the XML will look like. The most common message format is Simple Object Access Protocol, SOAP. SOAP defines the format of XML request and reply messages and how clients and services encode the data in the messages. In object-oriented programming, objects are tightly coupled. To call the inventory component, a client application creates an instance of the component and therefore, controls its lifetime. In a service-oriented application, services and clients are loosely coupled. To call the inventory service, a client does not instantiate an instance of a component. It simply passes a message to the service and may receive a message in return. Service-oriented applications are loosely coupled. All communication occurs through messages. SOAP defines the format of messages. Contracts define the contents of messages. A service will publish a contract that specifies what methods clients can call, what arguments those methods take and what, if anything, the methods return. The contract can also specify security requirements and whether a transaction is required. A distributed application built with web services is a service-oriented application. ASP.NET Web Services ASMX, has been available for building web services since .NET was first released. Why then do you need Windows Communication Foundation? WCF provides a number of benefits over ASP.NET Web Services, including Support for sending messages using not only HTTP, but also TCP and other network protocols. The ability to switch message protocols with minimal effort. Support for hosting services on hosts other than a web server. Built-in support for the latest web services standards and the ability to easily support new ones. Support for security, transactions, and reliability. Support for sending messages using formats other than SOAP, such as representational state transfer, REST. Web service is a part of WCF. WCF offers much more flexibility and portability to develop a service when comparing to web service. Still we are having more advantages over web service, following table provides detailed difference between them.
Thank you for watching this video.